Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward. And today, I am going to install WordPress on a CentOS Linux droplet. So, whoops, there goes Princess. <laughs> Time to get to work. As you can see here on the command line, I am using CentOS Linux release 8.3 and uh, I have attached the name uh, ixixi.duckdns.org to that uh, virtual machine. And if you need to get a temporary name for you know DNS, uh, you can do it with DuckDNS. It's a really nice little service. Okay, so um, I have a set of pre-created notes. Here they are. And um, this is what I need to do to get this WordPress installed here. So the first thing is to install Apache web server, MariaDB, and a few other pieces of software. So this will just take a minute. Okay, so that completed. And um, just as a separate command, I'm installing VIM, uh, VI improved. I love VIM. The old VI is okay if, if, if you're in a pinch and you need something to edit, but I vastly prefer VIM. And this command will just make it so that VI or VIM are the same thing. Uh, if I don't put that uh, symbolic link in, it will assume that VI is a different command from VIM. But this way, it just makes VI or VIM go to VI. All right, so we have MariaDB installed and we have HTTPD, which is Apache web server installed. And so now we're going to start them and enable them. Okay, so they are now started and enabled and we will secure our MariaDB installation. So the first thing it does is it asks you for a root password and since we've never set a root password it is an equivalent to none. So set the root password, yes. Okay, remove anonymous user, yes. Disallow root login remotely, no. Uh, remove test database and access to it, yes. And reload privilege tables now, yes. Okay, so that secures the installation. I do not disable uh, remote logins because I'm accustomed to having my database on a separate server usually and I like to be able to log in remotely even as root. So it's just the way I roll. Okay, so now we're going to connect as root to the database and we will create the schema WP. You can call this uh, database schema WP or WordPress, whatever you want. I'm going to connect you, uh, for WordPress as WP user at localhost. Okay, and grant all on WP to WP user and then flush the privileges and exit. Okay, so that sets up the database for WordPress. So now we need to get WordPress. So this will download WordPress. And uh, unzip it or untar it. And so you can see here that we have downloaded this file into this directory. And then we opened it up and and it's now a directory of its own with a whole bunch of files in it. If we look inside of that uh, directory, uh, 
how many files are there? 2,176 files. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so change ownership of all of the Apache files. Um, I like to do this at var www. Some people do it one file or one directory higher than that. It's really up to you. I don't find that there's any you know, security issues at having Apache Apache be the owner of www. It's only there to create websites. Okay, so now the next two commands are related to SE Linux. And SE stands for Secure Enhancement or something like that, Security Enhancement. Anyway, it's something that's particular to Red Hat and CentOS. And um, if you don't add in these settings, you don't make these changes to the settings, your WordPress won't work. So essentially the two commands are this one here, This will allow WordPress to read and write files in its directory, in the WordPress uh, website directory. And then this, this command right here just reads back what you just wrote. So it just tells you that in the WordPress directories, this HTTPD, which is the process, has read, write, on its on its uh, abilities inside of those directories so that's what that's doing and then this one right here allows WordPress to reach out the, the WordPress process to use curl to reach out to the wordpress.org website and bring in plugins and other things like that so this is also an important setting if you don't do it it won't work in fact this is what happened to me yesterday when I didn't know about these program these commands. This is a brand new WordPress installation. Never been used for anything, which is pretty neat. And if we go to plugins and we add a new plugin, we can search plugins over here and let's search monitor.chat and it doesn't show it. Mm, <laughs> interesting an unexpected error occurred something may be wrong with wordpress.org or this server's configuration okay so now that we have that done we're ready to make the wordpress website happen so at this point we can edit this in fact you can see i skipped over this little part right here if you you can do this manually or you can have WordPress created for you. My preference is to have WordPress created for you because I will show you why in a minute. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this content here and put it into this file here. This file is for Apache to have a configuration to show the WordPress website from the WordPress folder. So it is using my domain, which is ixixi.duckdns.org. And now if I restart my HTTPD service, like that and I go to the website from a browser should work yes there it is so uh, this is the beginning of it and let's go all right so WordPress the database name in my case is WP the username is WP user the password is password localhost and WP okay so this is the file that I could have made manually before and it's telling me it's unable to write this file. I still haven't figured out why this happens on this distribution of Linux, but it does. So I'm going to copy this text. I'm going to go into the WordPress directory. I'm going to viwp-config.php and insert that text. 
And here's the reason why I like WordPress to create that file. It's right here. This bunch of code uses a lot of randomness to secure the website. And if you just copy from the sample file, that text won't be random. And that's definitely not what you want. You want it to be random. The other thing that's interesting about this is that WordPress actually fills in the values for you. So you can see here that the username is WP user and the database name is WP and the password is password. So that's exactly what we want. That's, ex that's what we're expecting. And now that we have created that file, the only problem with it is the file is currently owned by root. Shouldn't be a problem because Apache does have read access to it, I believe. But let's change the ownership. Apache, Apache to WP config.php. There, now he owns the file. And if we run the installation, it should just set up. So here we go. Site title is IXIXI. The username is Edward. The password is password. Very weak. Confirm the use of a weak password. Give them your email address. That's mine. And install WordPress. So there, login is done. Yeah, this is just bothering me because of security. It doesn't like my password. And so Edward and password, and you can remember me and log in. And there you go. WordPress is installed. The interesting thing is we need to verify that plugins can be downloaded, right? So if we add new, we should be able to see this page. This is what SE Linux tends to block, is this page right here. So it's working just fine, and we should be able to download and install a plugin. So let's, um, let's look at statistics. Whoops. Statistics. Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so I want this plugin right now. Okay, and activate it. It does install, so that means it can write to the directory. And it's activated, so WP Statistics is installed. And the reason why I want that is because my plugin, which is brand new, and we'll add a new plugin. My plugin depends, it doesn't depend fully on that, but partially depends on that plugin. So this is my plugin right here. If you'd like to give it a try, please do. It is called monitor.chat and it uh, will allow you to monitor your WordPress installation uh, using chat. So if we go into the settings for monitor.chat, there's the plugin and you'll need to get an API key which you can get from monitor.chat and uh, Right now, I will put in my API key. Not that I want you to see it. Try to fuzz that out. And we'll do a test to make sure that this is working. And there, you heard the ding. That means that I just got the message in my chat client right there. So this is a test message sent from WordPress. You can get test messages and other kinds of messages uh, from WordPress from all kinds of different um, events that happen on your WordPress uh, site. So for example, if somebody logs into the WordPress website, you can get an instant message on that. So here from another browser, I'm gonna log in. What is the password? The password was password. Okay, that logs in. And so in this chat room over here, you can see here, Edward has logged in as an administrator. There you go. All right, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.